had a real difficult time with the math curriculum that you chose for your child this past school year, you're not alone. I made a huge mistake this past school year. And honestly, it's a mistake that most homeschool parents make. And that is sticking with a math curriculum that didn't work for my child's unique needs. And I had to discover a way to figure out what math curriculum was actually going to work for her. But guess what? I actually did. And I'm gonna share that with you today because there's a way that your child can not only learn math efficiently, but actually enjoy it. Today's video is going to be all about how to figure out when it's time to change. Plus, I've got a really great alternative for you. So when it comes to figuring out or identifying when it's time to change a curriculum, you want to first work backwards. You want to start by identifying your goals and preferences for your child. So especially when it comes to math, it's super important to figure out what your family's vision or mission or goals are when it comes to math. For example, in our family, we are a strong, heavy, math-minded family. We want our children to have a thorough understanding of math. But I also have friends who lean more towards, they just want them to have a basic understanding of math. They want them to be able to uh, function, be able to pay bills, but that's about it. Like they could care less whether or not their child um, is a mathematician or whatever the situation is. But along with goals, because each child is very unique, it's also important to identify how your child learns best. Is your child more of an auditory learner, a visual learner, a kinesthetic learner? How does your child learn best? Or do they prefer more digital interactions? So one thing that I was noticing about my daughter is that she is very visual in nature. And so when she would show up to a math sheet and it would be loaded with problems or there would be multiple sheets loaded with problems, it would overwhelm her instantly. Even before she realized, oh my gosh, the entire sheet is just zero plus zero equals zero. She, just the fact that she is coming to a sheet that is filled with problems would instantly shut her down and she would automatically go into it with a very negative attitude and she already failed before she even started pretty much. And so one thing that I love about teaching textbooks is that it's one problem at a time and that works very well for her and how she functions is that she can get one problem at a time. The other thing is with her previous math, she would have to wait for me in order to get feedback, in order to see how she was doing. That did not work well for her. She would instantly feel overwhelmed when I would grade her work and she would have to go back to the problems that had taken her so much energy to muster up to even do it in the first place. And with teaching textbooks, she's able to get that instant feedback that you got this problem wrong or you got this problem right and this is what you need to do to correct in the moment. And that works so well for her and how she functions. Which brings me to access to accountability and time constraints. That is also something that you have to take into consideration when it comes to finding a math curriculum or when it comes to assessing whether or not the math curriculum you currently have is working. How much time do you actually have? Are you homeschooling multiple kiddos? Are you in and out of doctor's appointments? Are you just stretched thin as it is? Or do you have kiddos that require more of a higher level math and you don't feel very equipped <laughs> to be able to handle that? Now for me, I have four children that I get to homeschool that are between the ages of six and seven. So <laughs> I have to personally grade all of their math, and that is pages and pages of math every single day. Now, in addition to that, I was having to grade her math and my oldest's math. And it was a lot of grading 
as well as a lot of teaching on somebody. And so my time was very pressed. And so I wasn't finding the time to go back and grade her work. And so she was making mistakes and I was missing it. And so with teaching textbooks, I don't have to worry about it. It grades it for her. Plus I have the teacher's dashboard in which I'm then able to go on, see how she's doing, she see what she which problems she's having trouble with and go back and discuss that with her later on. Plus they send me an email every single morning to let me know what she worked on and how well she did. And so it really just helped me so much with my time constraints and with accountability. Now I touched on this a little bit with my first point, but recognizing signs of discontentment. Your kids are not always gonna like school. They're not always gonna like what they're studying. They're not always going to want to do school, especially when it comes to math. I am a strong believer in we have to do hard things. We have to do things that we don't want to do. We as parents a lot of times don't want to show up, but we show up and that is built throughout our lives. It's not just something that we become adults and now we're able to do hard things. Like we learn to do hard things from childhood. And so I am not saying that any small sign of discontentment means that it's time to switch and do a different math curriculum. But what I was noticing was something deeper than discontentment. What I was noticing was frustration, stress, confusion, avoidance behavior. She is my people pleasing child. She does not want to get in trouble. She wants to try her best. She wants to show up. She wants to be her best. And so me knowing her and knowing that about her and me seeing this, this level of stress in her and this level of discontentment in her showed me that it was time to switch. <laughs> showed me that this curriculum was not working and it was more than just, we can do hard things. I would advise you to pay attention. Pay attention to see if your child is stressed out. Pay attention to see if your child has this kind of defeated attitude after they are done with their math curriculum. Are they doing things to avoid? She would end up in random places. She'd be in the bathroom for hours or she'd be outside or she'd be just in random places just avoiding getting to math or just feeling overwhelmed in general. All these are red flags and are signs that it's time to change. One thing that we love about teaching textbooks is the gamification aspect of it. It's a light atmosphere. There are little avatars and it's colorful. And for her, it's not a distraction as much as it is a warm, welcoming, friendly, stress-free environment. And that helps her to show up and do her best. If you're looking for a new approach to math that offers them the ability to build that confidence, get that instant feedback, and be stress-free, check out Teaching Textbooks. I'll have all the information linked in my description. And check out this video to find out what else we are doing with our daughter for next year.